to you again, Keith. Yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> um, obviously, we know each other from uh, from way back, yeah. but I've never actually known your journey, your pathway into football. So, would you mind sharing it with us? Yeah. Um, so I started when I was young, just playing in the garden um, with my brothers. Got two older brothers. They love football, yeah. and we lived in like a little court. So all the kids on the court would come and play. At first, I used to sit on the wall and be shy, and then I was always tempted. I want to join. Really I want to join. I'm not <laughs> buying that. <laughs> I want to join in, and then one day I just joined in, and then from then. I guess my love for football just continued to grow. So when you was back in that court and you were playing, were they, were they mostly boys? Or yeah, were all they going, boys. All boys. What about, uh, what about colour? Were, were they... It was inner city, so yeah, it was a mixture. Liverpool, um, in the inner city, LA, we have a very multicultural place, you know. Mm -hmm. For me, it helped me as a person understand different cultures, different religions, you know, sexuality. You grow yeah. up and you already have them experiences, so not everyone has to look like me for me to respect them and for me, you know, to show compassion, empathy, sympathy, you know. Mm -hmm. Love. When you were growing up, did you see people that looked like you that you thought, you know what, I really am I'm inspired by them, I want to become them? No. When I moved to Evan and I started going to watch the women's games, um, Fern Whelan obviously yeah. was the centre half then. As I got older, obviously yourself, Mary Phillips was yeah. in the Arsenal team and England team. I remember Mo Marley taking me to an England game and it was against the Netherlands and you scored the cheeky free kick. <laughs> and I, I remember being like, I really would love to be on that pitch right now. I remember that. I was only like 14, but. You know, them moments stick with you. They always say, you know, in football, leave the shirt in a better place. Well, I feel like in my life, leave society in a better place. Yeah, in yeah, every yeah. impact you have with an individual, how can you impact them in a, in a better, more brighter way to make them feel good about themselves, which will have a knock-on effect to the next person they see.